can we discuss the fact that like I, and, and you tell me if you if you saw it differently, but like, can we dissect that Luke Skywalker died because he was too tired? He literally died from being tired. So our childhood, watching Star Wars, everything we've grown up to be, we saw Luke Skywalker, we've seen it, we've had it in our head for like 30 years, 40 years, however long we've been alive. Mm-hmm. And then it finally gets to like Luke Skywalker. Oh, and I'm sorry, by the way, if anyone's listening besides Marty, it's a spoiler alert. Uh, but Luke Skywalker dies from being tired. Now, at 40 years old now, 40 ish years old, I can relate. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Because I could die from being tired really at any moment. But I never really expected that, uh, you know, it never really hit me until it started, you know, talking about it the last couple of days and being like, oh, my God, that is how they wrap that up. And one day I will hear Madness's opinion. But for now, I'll ask you, was that how you read it? Not really. I, and mind you, I, I, I only saw the sequels and not the, you know, yes. one to each. You know, because obviously I'm not rewatching any Me of too. that fucking shit. Oh, why? Why not? Because uh, they're really because it's worse than the prequels, and the prequels are bad. No, as... no, no, no. Hold no, on. No. All right, so no. let's let's, let's focus. don't you don't you go there. All right, that's another that's another well, can okay. of worms. Right. Hold there. on. Hold on. Phantom Menace might be the worst out of the six after the original the trilogy. Six. Sure. But these three. I, I feel like Revenge of the Sith might be better than these three. So I'm looking at it as an accumulative whole. I'm not, if we pick them apart, Phantom Menace is still the worst. But, but hold on. We're, 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 we've already done the Phantom Menace podcast, this and that, and I know we'll do. <laughs> so yes, if I remember correctly, because he kind of fades away in the eighth one. He tricks Kylo Ren to not being there. He uses that force trick where he, like... I don't know if it was just too tired, but... It could have been maybe he just used all his power to try and save his friends and did something that most, as far as I know, has never been canna, canon and as a, for a Jedi. Like, I, you know what I mean? Because he made himself appear somewhere else, um, like manifested and himself. so you say he used up all his energy? I, I, I don't know. It's it part of being tired, but think about how tired? Yoda died. Yoda, you know, yes, Yoda is 900 years old, but I think his power yes. is... Just, so, yes, maybe it is tired, but I just figured he, he he just used whatever power he had, and he knew he could, maybe he couldn't come back fully to, like, his where his real body was. I don't know. And I, I honestly do not know how to explain this shit. Um, but, yeah, I... I, I, I but I think, go back to nine-year-old you. Nine-year-old right? me. Oh, yeah, what a and day. You haven't, what even, a day. you haven't even seen the prequels, oh, those which, by the way, great. are fucking trash, okay? Like, I'm just going to say that. And we'll have a discussion, although, boy, do I really want to have it now. Um, But go back to being nine, and someone's like, okay, guess what? I'm going to give you a spoiler alert here. And you're like, oh, okay, sure. And they're like, Luke Skywalker's going to end up dying in the new, uh, in the new, like, sequels right down the line you're like oh well of course he's a hero of course he's gonna die in a very heroic way they're like no he's gonna die because he's He's too too old and tired but isn't that how they all die what isn't that how they all die though they're too too old and they just can't go and hold on marty so i want to bring up something marty said because he yes he did become one of the force but we're not talking about that we're talking about how he became one with the force see when obi-wan died (laughs) darth vader yes cut him with a lightsaber i mean obviously then he dropped the ropes well i don't know what happened it just they couldn't do special evaporated before he got hit Correct, but you know what? Maybe Obi Wan was, you know, force projecting himself. We just didn't know, and he's like, "All right, he he fooled. He did the same thing Luke did, just in a different way." Maybe <laughs> I don't, we don't know. But yes, they both became one. But yes, obviously Luke projected himself to fight with Ky- Kylo Ren, and sure. uh, just to like hold him off so his friends and everyone can escape. And then yes, when he returned to his body, maybe just you know his maybe he just couldn't use it. Maybe. I, I don't know. I mean, yes, maybe it's tired, but kind of like a lot of things. Like if you think like the Infinity Stones, when you use it, maybe it is taking a part of your body. That's why they try not to use it as much and only when needed. Um, and that's certain things because, fuck it. I, again, we've never seen, as far as I know, I don't know if it's been in books, but as far as any of the movies go, up until that point, 
they couldn't do that, you know, and unless I forgot something and maybe I'm wrong because it's not like I remember every fucking part of the prequels or sequels. So, yeah, was he tired? Yes, but I just figured he kind of used up all his power and he just could not manif- come back to his regular body and he became one with the Force. So, and he physically yeah, you know, evaporated. Yeah. I mean, technically they all die because, you know, well, a lot of them, the main ones we love die because, you know, they did get old and tired. Um, you know, like I said, Yoda, maybe Obi-Wan did. Maybe he did the same thing. We just didn't know at the time because you're right. Think about what happened to Obi-Wan. He, we don't even see his body. He just, you know, the thing happens and he drops. So, the, you know what? In my opinion, yeah. the same thing that happened to Luke happened to Obi-Wan. We just didn't understand it then and they didn't explain it then. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Am I ruining this for you, Soto? Am I no, ruining this just, for you? I think you're just, I think you're just like trying to find. You're just apologizing for this like terrible writing. You're just like, well, maybe. Oh, it, it's terrible. It's retcon. Like, I am you know, all the Jedi. The I am all the Sith. Yes, it, all everything about the scene. It was fun to watch the Force Awakens, you know, because there was a little nostalgia seeing Han and Chewie. Sure, and everything. the first one. And then, then, yes. Then it's just like, ooh, even the first one. You know, there were they, well, I. I did appreciate the fact the first one was trying to introduce new characters. Because, yes, while we were nostalgic, they still had to move on. You know, they had to create the series. And I was like, okay, they introduced. And I just think the payoff, the next two films just bombed and just failed miserably. So, yes, I'm not going to apologize for what they did to Luke because I'm not the one that wrote that shit. You know, Luke would have gone out a hero. He would have, you know, I still would have had Luke dying because... I think that's just every, you know, helping the next generation, stuff like that. He could have done yeah. something for Ray, kind of like Obi Wan did for him. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, was he tired? Yeah, but man, you know, we don't know what it took to do what he did. Uh, you know, I mean, it's not like every all the <laughs> Jedi become like ghosts that they just happen. You know, that power Force they ghosts. all have, they all can, you know, move shit with their stuff. But he just projected a full body. Kylo Ren was hitting a lightsaber. It wasn't like he was hitting something that like a projection or something like that or a hologram. He was actually fighting. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. Again, to be continued, because I would love to get Madness on, on his opinion on this. Obviously, diehard Star Wars fan. Uh, I know that we have the famous promised... Uh, Oh God! It'd be like nine episodes we'd have to do if we did. Uh, well, we, we already did a Phantom Menace. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so eight still is quite a bit. Uh, it'd be tough to rewatch those newer ones, but yeah. And then I, I also would like to debate the prequels or the sequels. I think that I think that they're problematic in different types of ways. Oh God! But oh, yeah. I definitely I, have I, an I, opinion. I would love to do more Star Wars shit. I just would hate to rewatch all that Star Wars shit. You know what I mean? Well, I'm May's coming original. up. What? No, 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 no. May the 4th. No, no, no. No commitments. But let, just, just think about it, because I think that that would be the ultimate. They could put it to bed. I know Madness is down, so. Um, oh, yeah, because he hates it. He thinks the prequels are better than the sequels. Yeah, most people his age do. But uh, I, I'm not saying the sequels are good uh, at all. Um, sequels oh, are no. actually quite terrible. Uh, but if you're asking me between the both, I definitely have an opinion, because... Yeah, there are some movies. The, the prequels. I mean, people can tell me that Revenge of the Sith is watchable. I guess compared to the other two movies, it is. But I don't think that it that makes it a watchable movie because it's less dog shit. Now, are there some unwatchable movies in the sequels? Sure. I mean, I'd watch Force Awakens again, just like you said for the nostalgia. I don't really remember the other two. I remember having mixed feelings about them because I saw them in a the theater and then I did not see them when they came out on Netflix. I was like, I don't need to see these. And I have not seen them, you know, on Disney plus. I have not gone out of my way to be like, you know what I want to watch right now? Uh, rise of Skywalker. Is that the one that it was? Yeah. The last one where she was like, I'm Ray, Ray Skywalker. And you're like, Oh God, someone kill me. Cause yeah, there's gonna be no. three more movies based around her, by the way. I don't know if you know this. But yeah, I kind of heard that. I, 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 I don't know. But you know, the new shit I think is gonna be better. If they just, I, not better, but how do I explain this? Just things that if they don't connect it, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, have, I, I don't want to see it. I hope they do Ray well though, because yeah, they did her dirty at the end of nine. Um, but yeah, you yeah, know, no we, problem with their character. Just the writing was just. You could tell that they had an idea at the beginning of it, and that they just did not execute, and they changed their mind, and then there was a weird Kylo Ren redemption thing. I don't even. It was. Yeah, bad. but you felt that was coming from Force Awakens. I, I there was always, I, 
deep down, I always felt like he was going to get it redeem himself. Just I, I mean, sure, so but I mean, I would have been awesome terribly. if he would have full, gone full dark side, you know. But the fact, you know, there was always something there. Like, yeah, he was going to be the one that kind of helped save the day. Um, and yeah, I mean, I felt like even his character could have just been so much more, you know, than what it was. I don't know. Mm. Uh, but yeah, to no, be discussed uh, at a later date yeah. for sure. Luke dies of old age. That's pretty much what being, happens. Being so. tired. He died because he was tired. Tempted, Just like yeah. I will in two years. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Did you say in two, two years? years? <laughs> yes, I'll just be too tired one day, and I'll lay down on the floor and be like, I saw she wrote, Dutch, and I'll just evaporate and become one with the force, whatever that means. <laughs> one with the force means really good writing. 